Math I dislike in grade school until we came to algebra. And, you know, some people get put off by the abstraction, but the abstraction for me made it easier. <laughs> and during my first job, I did some summers at Los Alamos National Labs. And the famous mathematician Stan Ulam had this idea there was mathematics in this new biology. Didn't really know what, what the math was or even much about what the new biology was, but uh, sort of was the thing that got us going. So in 1985 was the first serious meeting to discuss, could we possibly sequence the human genome? It was at Santa Cruz, they invited 12 people. So there were very technical discussions. Could we do the computation? Could we do the biotechnology? And at the end uh, was a question of what would it cost? And I think a base pair then cost $17. So you have three billion times 17, and you have to, to cover it with more sequence, so maybe times five. That's real money. And somebody said, what if it was a dollar for finished base? You know, still $3 billion, it's still a lot of money. And someone in the room quoted what an aircraft carrier cost. And I was instantly, we have to do this. This is just too, too, too interesting. Just like people look at the origin of the universe. What's the origin of life? The Human Genome Project would have been worth doing if there wasn't one thing to learn about human health. Of course, that's inconceivable. But just to know what our inheritance is written on seems to me an incredibly wonderful thing for a human being to work on. And what's more interesting, yeah?